Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play L.A. Noir. I've been meaning to Let's Play this ever since it came out on the 360, but I never did get around to it. But anyways, we're going to do some cachage. So let's do some cachage. I played a little bit so that way I could familiarize myself with the game for a bit. So we got the patrol desk, the traffic desk, and the homicide desk. I'm still doing cases within the homicide, but I figured I'll continue the rest of the game with you guys so we're gonna start all the way at the beginning and we're gonna go with the patrol desk uh, in upon reflection now these should be subtitled so I don't plus I'm gonna shut up during um the cutscenes so there we go make sure you pay attention in the Marine Corps you deal with the chain of command Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Alright. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. I'm gonna tr also try my best itself. to, um, not destroy <laughs> the prop the land because I have a nasty habit of doing that Floyd Rose homicide you might back up yes sir Phelps and Dunn Wilshire division we had a shooting took place down this alleyway we have the Vic Scooter Payton a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue witness says a tall white guy our shooter put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We've got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Yeah, this is supposed to take place um, during, like, after World War just II, somewhere the in the 40s, or maybe in the late, just get it early 50s, I want to right, say. I forget. Way. We'll search but right just so back. you also know, you still don't come this game is very, very racy. So, I haven't had anybody call a black guy the N-word yet, but... That's that. Look at this junk. Incidental. But yeah, this is basically teaching you how to investigate. Now, it's not my job to pick through other Now, these trash. newspapers will show you stories. I will show them to you. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great Mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shiv. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You on. went through a lot together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. 
I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? So yeah, throughout the entirety of the game, you can find those newspapers and they'll tell you more stories about this guy. I actually haven't seen the full entirety of the story myself, I'm so I'm actually genuinely curious. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Yikes. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ralph. There's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Magic! A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find now, it up there. Fortunately, this game isn't that um, difficult when it comes to finding things you can climb up on. Usually, if you find staircases, ladders, or any handles that are yellow or goldish, you can interact with it. So, you can't really get that lost. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Yeah, I don't think fingerprint analysis was um, common in this timeline, but I do believe that the fingerprint no system actually good. came into effect around the 1800s, like actually. My knowledge of that is poor, that so You'd rather round up don't take my word, word for Grant. I'd get the day now, we can actually we can mind. drive there ourselves, It'll or fine, we can Ralph. have our you friend drive us. But just so I can get better at driving, I'm going to do it. Expect me to crash into a ton of shit. But I'm going to try my best not to collide with anything. Unless it's a car chase. Then I have to bash a fucker. Well, that didn't take long! Careful! Oh god, what happened? Well, that didn't last real fucking long. I figured this video will just show off the cases. And for the patrol desk. And then after that, every video will be a full-fledged case from each desk. Such as... Net we will do one case per episode after the patrol desk has been cleared. I think I turned away. There's no time! There it is.
Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Usually. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Now, we can actually look at our clues to remind ourselves what the gun looks like. Smith & Wesson revolver. Model 27, serial S71893. So let's look for that. And it is... Uh, wait, no. We need pearl grip. Aha! Here we are. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Okay, so this is not the 40s. Thanks, big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. There we go. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. No, not clues. We want locations. To the apartment. Let's go. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, bantering when you're driving the car, so it's actually kind of hard for me to talk sometimes because I actually want you to hear the banter, especially during the traffic cases. You son of a bitch. You tried to, uh, you tried to off-road me. You fucker. How dare you? Where am I going? Okay. Just gotta take this right. That's coming out of your wages, not mine. How the fuck did that happen? Where the fuck are we? Screw it. You're driving. Here we are, without incident. Nothing happened. Let's go make our arrest. Schroeder, apartment two. All right, let's go to apartment two and arrest ourselves, man. Here we are. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You know, there were better ways to, um, deal with the situation at hand. Ah! 
punch him. Sure you can. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. All right. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Hello. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. All right. Let's do this. And this time, let's not run things over or get lost on the way there. Alright, if I remember correctly, this is going to teach us the shooting part of the game. Take it quick, you guys. Oh, yep. We gotta move it. You know when you pull up the shotgun, people are gonna die. Cover. I am covered. Forward. For the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. All right, where are they? Here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance, to... chance. Copper. Copper. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. <laughs> that guy out there is like, don't worry, I'll get him. That's it. We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. All right. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! All right, you're gonna have things like this, and no matter how fast you run, they will always outrun you, regardless of their appearance. Like you honestly think this guy should be able to outrun a physically fit um, policeman who is also was also a military man? I don't fucking think so. Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn, watch your fire. 
don't want to do this, Wendell. But yeah, like I said, you'll never be able to catch him. This is scripted. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Even if you do catch up, that he'll do that to you. You gotta be kidding. You fucking asked for it. There's no way I'm going back inside. Oh, there he is. I've done my time. Ah, shit. You assholes already screwed me once. Well, it's nice that he kind of waits for you. <laughs> Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. My God, he had a family. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. He's seriously, he's serious about this. You want a tango? <laughs> <laughs> Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star on the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Everybody step this back. is the investigation mode. You're at the crime scene. Look around. Shell casings. These look like 32s. The more clues you find, the better your grade is, as well as don't cause any property damage. We're fucked. <laughs> oh, there we go. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. All right. Eaglesons gun store is a couple blocks from here. Okie doke. Next, we examine the body. Broad daylight, crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Now we want to look at not his arm, you fool. We want to look here in his wallet. Well, not really a wallet. The Bank of Arcadia. Is that still a thing? The Bank of Arcadia? Because I know this is supposed to be like Senior L.A. or letter. something. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. I wonder if Bank of Arcadia isn't even an actual place. But yeah, we're done with the body. Now let's we gotta go this talk guy to someone. Crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Yep. Alright, alright. Yes, it's a dead person. Yeah, I wanna talk to him. Oh, square. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Alright, that's that. Now we want to go to the gun store. And figure out what's up. Alright, 
we're gonna take a car because speak to the witness before homicide arrives Phelps if you think she's lying don't be afraid to get forceful verbally of course and don't accuse her of anything without proof lawyers love that shit and if you're sure she's straight up try the general approach see what you can coax out of her yeah we'll get to that later but right now I want to go to the gun store yeah, in this version of L.A. Noir, you have truth, no, you have good cop, bad cop, and accuse. And in the original game, it was truth, lie, or doubt, get out of my fucking way! <sighs> People, right? It's not my fault, I'm the cop. Cops can't do no wrong. <laughs> oh, abuse of power, motherfucker. But yeah, from this point on, it'll be up to you to decide how you handle questioning. Getting questions right can actually lead you to more questions, which will give you an, over an overall better grade at the end. And there's actually a few other ways you can complete cases, apparently. Officer. Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the shoe store. And we're gonna go question the lady. And this will be the last of the patrol desk, and then we can start going through traffic. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Oh, oh no, oh, you, you almost had it. Oh no. Don't ever let me become a cop, alright? If I ever say I want to be a cop, fucking stop me. I should not have that kind of power. Oh, and be careful with the car. If you accidentally hit the crime scene, you can instant game over because you disturbed the crime scene. Oh, hey, look, my partner's finally catching up. <laughs> uh, can I... I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay, now we can interview the person. And here we go. Follow the tutorial. It will get you through this. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage... My boss bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> if you think the witness is lying and you have proof, choose accuse. To accuse a witness, you will need to present evidence. Press triangle to accuse the witness. But yeah, it was originally 
truth, doubt, or lie, but now it's good cop, bad cop, and accused. And to be honest, I actually like good cop, bad cop, and accused more. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Select the evidence from your notebook that proves your accusation. Select the layaway voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looks very painful. And as you can tell, we actually managed to open up more possibilities. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. This is the doubt. Press square to act as a bad cop. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Yeah, we're about to get into some racist territory here, so... Get basket of fun now! How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. And this is the truth option, a.k.a. good cop. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly, close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Alright, that's that. Now, let's go get Mr. Kalu. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Okay, here we go. Get out of my way, you fools! What are you doing, Phelps? Get in the car. You can walk. How dare. Wake up. <laughs> oh no! No, I'm a murder suspect. I'm so glad that I wasn't able to cripple your spine. <laughs> Can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. 
Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! I got him! Kalu! Get back here! Now, you can pull out your gun and you can aim at him. Do not shoot him! Uh, Otherwise you fail. What you have to do is hold him up until the timer runs out. Next Dang it! Time you're mine. Or you eventually reach him at the end and that will be that. Too late, Kalu! There we go. Stop or I will shoot! Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. All right, we're on the finale of this, the entirety of the police desk. So let's bring this fool to justice. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Basically, they want you to use your intuition. So I'll show you how it works. You get five points every time... Every time you um, level up, you get a point. So. Ask the community. I can't. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Now, I do believe we have to... Keep your evidence in mind during an interview in order to identify the full statement. Accusing with incorrect evidence will hurt your credibility and make the witness more whatever. I believe it's this one. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Oh, boy. Anyways, let's go from the talk about murder to religion! Let's change the subject. 
You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, either we want him to, we either want to go bad cop, we're going to use more intuition. So, let's use that and remove another answer. Bad cop. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. We are done with the patrol desk. Next, we move on to traffic. This is going to be fun. Thank you all for watching the very first episode of Let's Play L.A. Noir. The next set of videos should not be as long as this one because we're just going to go at it case by case instead of multiple cases, regardless of their length. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time on L.A. Noir. Bye for now.